And what is up, my magic miscreants? Risen Dragon here with yet another fun deck tech for you. Fourth straight day we're doing a video, and today we are looking at mono green stompage, as I like to call it. And you're going to see why it stomps really, really well in a moment or two. But basically, this deck centers around modified creatures in Kodama of the West Tree getting that damage across. So Without further ado, let's get into the deck. Evolving Adaptive enters the battlefield with an oil counter on it. It gets plus one, plus one for each oil counter on it. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, if that creature has greater power or toughness than Evolving Adaptive, put an oil counter on it. Okay, cool stuff. Armored Scrap Gorger, a mana dork. Okay, basically what that means is you tap it, it adds one mana of any color. But whenever you tap it, exile target card from a graveyard and put an oil counter on Armored Scrap Gorger. If it has three or more oil counters, it gets plus three, plus zero. We're also looking at Gala Greeters with Alliance. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, we either put a plus one, plus one counter on Gala Greeters, create a tap treasure token, or we gain two life. Now, you can only do one of those per turn, but <clears throat> we either chunkify our creatures, and I'm going to explain what chunkify means in a minute, uh, or we ramp, or we gain life. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, Query on Beast Caller. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it. When it dies, we distribute X plus one, plus one counters on it, where X is the number of plus one, plus one counters on the Beast Caller. We can distribute those plus one, plus one counters across the board. Simeon Simulacrum. We're only running two of these, uh, but when it enters the battlefield, put two plus one, plus one counters on target creature you control so we can chunkify our things. And before I go further, chunkify just means put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Elias MTG, or Alias MTG, uh, gave me that idea. So, anyways. Kami of Whispered Hopes, and this is why I say chunkify, okay? If one or more plus one, plus one counters would be put on a permanent you control, that many plus one, plus one, plus one counters are put on that permanent instead. This is also a big high-level mana dork because we can add X mana of any one color where X is Kami of Whispered Hope's power. Kodama of the West Tree. Now, aside from the fact that it has reach, Aside from the fact that it can ramp into stuff because whenever a modified creature you control deals combat damage to a player, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. Modified creatures you control have trample. A lot of our creatures are going to be modified, so we can get that damage across. Very excellent card to have in any mono green build. We're also running uh, Ren and Realm Breaker. Lands you control have tap, add one mana of any color. We can make our lands 3-3 three, three elemental creatures with Vigilance, Hexproof, and Haste until the end of your next turn, or until your next turn. We can mill three cards and put a permanent card from among the milled cards into your hand. And finally, number seven is you get an emblem with you may play lands and cast permanent spells from your graveyard. Really cool card to have. Polychronos Reborn has reach. It's a 4-5-3 drop. Yeah incredible stuff but when it transforms and when it dies or another non-token hydra you control dies create a 3-3 three, three green and white phyrexian hydra creature token with reach and 3-3 three, three green and white phyrexian hydra creature token with lifelink so it can really splinter off and do some awesome things we're running two fade from histories now this is a card that i think is a is, is very very much overlooked Okay, each player who controls an artifact or enchantment creates a 2-2 green bear creature token, then destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Okay, so, good stuff there. We're running four Defiler of Vigors, a say Phyrexian Worm, though, uh, as an additional cast to cost green permanent spells, pay two life, and those spells cost two green less if you paid life this way. This effect reduces only the amount of green mana you pay, and whenever you cast a green permanent spell, <gasps> put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control so it's chunkifying things okay sideboard two tommy of safekeepings three atraxis falls which basically just destroys target artifact battle enchantment or creature with flying two gaia's gifts two tyvar stands four canker blooms running four canker blooms because this is kind of a <clears throat> this is a very uh this could actually be a main deck thing but if we're up against target, if we're up against target artifacts and enchantments, uh, it's definitely a good one to have. And we are playing th 
to simian simulacrums as well so if you are new to my channel we do a best of one and then we do a best of three if you like what you see like and subscribe so without further ado let's get on to the mono green stompy games we are against zippy the wonder dip okay <clears throat> there we go uh this one's a little too slow for a best of one as much as I like what I'm seeing here, and yes, we do have the mana to do it, but if we don't draw into some of our one and two drops, it could be tough. Yeah, let's go with it, though. Uh, let's let's take a risk. Bold move, Cotton. I think we're against, and there's why. And there we go. Now, I think we're against uh, soldiers, maybe? Azorius soldiers. Azorius knights would be fun to see. But I think we're against soldiers. No? Okay, we might get countered here, but we want to play this main phase. Okay, there it is. Swing. Big damage! And now, we draw into... If we get... Okay. And what do we do? Okay, Sunset Revelry, that's fine. Because <laughs> Kodama's going to come down. And do some wreckage! Here we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> and off we go! <laughs> Oh, uh, off we go. And we're going to ramp into stuff, too. So. Punk. Punk. There you go. Okay. Cool stuff. Now, do you have temporary lockdown or something like that? Do you have a... Mm. Oh, part of me really wants to do the defiler but I don't have anything else. So, I think what we do is we swing in first. Let's swing in first just in case they do something here. Now, we'll ramp further. Keep ramping. Kami of Whispered Hopes. Do we get countered here? It's fine if we get countered, I think. I think they're going to have a depopulate. I think th there's got to be... Yep, there it is. Okay. Well, so much for that idea. That's okay, though. So what we can do is this. Do this. Turn that into a land. Do this. My voice beckons to all worlds. Boop. Boop. Excellent. Okay. Do you have another depopulate? Yes, you do. Okay, totally fine. Because what we can do again is we can just do this. Put that there. Um, good game. All right, let's go the best of three. We are against Kervas for our best of three matchup. Uh, we're going to play first, and I'm going to regret it immediately. This is actually not too bad. I'm going to just ditch a land. That's fine. We'll ditch a land. The adaptive will come down, as will the Beast Caller, as will the Kami of Whispered Hopes. We'll see what happens here. Let's go, and let's get going. Good luck, Kervas. Okay, Mono Red. Mono Red. Mono Red. Mono Red. No, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I'm in a good mood today. Anyways, <clears throat> mono red. Yep, mono red. Okay, Gallic readers. It's down. That's all right. Well, if you go there. Oh, excellent. Okay. Demolition field, huh? Let's try this. Now, does that... Yeah, it does. Alright. What are they gonna do now? Brotherhood's End. Atsushi. Okay. Cool. Haha, <laughs> Polykranos. Uh, though, let's do this. Uh, hmm. We can do this. 
does have reach. Put a counter on that. And we can even do this. And we'll create a tap treasure token. And let's swing. They'll block with that sushi, that's okay. Because, and they'll probably create three treasure tokens and we'll cast burn down. Oh no, they, they exiled the two cards, okay. Yeah, here he is war crafting, huh? With the demolition field. So that should be cool. Alright, well, there we go. That's one way to do it. I think... Here's what we do. I'm going to take out this. And we're going to put in... Gaia's Gift. Or do I? Or do I just do the safekeeping? No, we do Gaia's Gift instead, because that gives us tokens. Plus one, plus one counters, I mean. Okay, so two and we could go at least two and two with this deck today. I'm okay with that. Might be a quick video, too. Again, Evolving Adaptive is just... <clears throat> now, here's a, here it's kind of tough, because... I want to put down... I'm going to put this down first, and then I'm going to put the greeters down, and then I put down the, the, the kami. Or do I just... No, I do adaptive first. This way they can burn a uh, burn spell on the adaptive, and I don't have to worry about the gala greeters getting thwacked. Although that got thwacked anyways, that's okay. Fable of the Mirror Breaker do da do do. Okay, so. Hmm. I think what we do is. No, we don't do that yet. Uh, Polychronos. Absolutely. That's always a good play. Okay, they may have been fishing for land there, maybe? Who knows? I think I'm probably going to let them have the, the the attack in. If that's the thing. No, they don't, they don't do anything. Yet. Yet. Keyword yet. Okay. What are they doing? Calculating something? No. Okay. So, hmm. Uh, what we can do is remember... Uh, okay, so what we can do is this. Evolving Adaptive. Renin Realm Breaker. Because this way what we can do is turn this into that. In the tangle, I see a path. Oh, it doesn't function that My way. Okay, I thought it would, I thought that would interact. That's alright. Big score. And you get some treasure tokens. This is like a, a maybe a mid rangey type build for mono red. Mono red, mono red. I'm okay with that actually. I'm gonna do that. That's fine. I have a feeling something big's coming down. So, yep, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. I had a feeling that was coming down. And oh, that kind of messed with us a little bit. Uh, so we do this. Probably should have done the Gala Greeters first. That's okay. Itali! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah. That's what they were going for. Alright. So, yeah. three and uh, Two and two might be a good, <laughs> a good record for this deck. But, uh, so. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good build right there. Have not gotten into Itali builds at the moment, but that's all right. Kervas, you have a good deck there, sir, or madam, wherever you are. All right, cool. Quirion Beast Caller into Kodama. Not a bad plan if we can dodge the. Uh, if we can dodge the. Uh, spot removal, which doesn't look like we're going to, so we might as well. Never mind my cat. Volcanic spite. Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh, light up the night. Interesting. Okay. Kodama. He's got a threat down. 
They got nothing. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Kami. Just swing. Okay. Okay, they found their land. Fable of the mirror breaker. Do da, do da. Alright, um. So I almost have to wonder do we do. Yeah, we do this first. We'll swing. Okay. Discard. Do two cards. Okay. Alright, so. No blocks. I have a feeling they're going face. Or this. No, they can't do the flashback. But. Atsushi! Okay. Doink. There we go. Boom. Now. For every plane. Let me do this instead. Get him. Alright, let's go to the postmortem. Oh my goodness, are we on to something here, kids? Are we on to something? I think we are. I'm liking this deck. I was... I'm not gonna lie, I was really nervous about doing this, because I'm like, man, is this deck really gonna work? And it really does. You know, this deck really has some great tools to it, some really great just offensive threats that your, your opponent's got to deal with somehow, and you saw it in the best of one, even with two board wipes, we were still able to put enough pressure on our opponent to make this deck sing. And I encourage you to tweak it, do whatever you want with it. <clears throat> you have my permission, do videos, whatever you want to do with it. It's a really fun deck. I'm really like playing. I'm really having a lot of t fun playing it. Uh, as always, though, my magic miscreants, leave a like, leave a subscribe, leave positive comments. And until next time, may all your draws be godlike. May all your spells hit the board. Risen Dragon is out. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, kids.